Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get updates of all my videos. Hey, hi, this is Yashwant. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five different career opportunities that are mostly uh, chosen by people after graduation. So among these five, I mean, two of them might you, you might already know. Many of you might already know that. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to classify and categorize everything. So before that, let's have an intro, please. Yeah, so every engineering graduate in his final year or pre-final year, so may have many doubts in his mind, in his or her mind, that like what what can we choose? So 75% of the people ultimately choose job as a career option and rest of them choose masters. But apart from these two, there are many other options that people can include, but that has to be come from you. So no one can guide you on them, but yes knowing them knowing multiple opportunities that that are present after graduation is a good thing so let's start this so the first thing that people generally go for is job so whether you or any come from a computer science background or any other background so most of the people when come to job uh, may think of a software job because that is a, a stable job so as may, there are many openings for the software field so most of them choose software as a career so after the graduation it doesn't matter so whether you are a mechanical engineer or you are a computer science engineer so mostly people will go into this side so apart from that people may also choose their jobs on their core side and apart from this software field there are many other things also like if people who are good in marketing and creativity skills can go for marketing or digital marketing side and people who wants want some security in their jobs may opt for government jobs and they can become lecturers or teachers there are various options when you consider jobs but job is the primary option that many 75 percent of the people in india choose so well well coming to the second one second one is all about education so continuing your uh, education to post graduation so again post graduation so the reason why most of the people choose post graduation is because uh, because of the qualification so it adds some weight to your profile and also you will get some high paid jobs after your post graduation and also people who are interested in research side so they must have to pass that area pass that bridge of post graduation and post graduation mostly most people will go for masters of science like ms or some will go for mtech in in india and and people who are who wants to explore their business creative skills they go for master of business administration so they can go for mba and these are the common things and also there are various options uh, that you might you might uh, not been aware of so like uh, we will we'll provide post graduate diploma there are various uh, organization that provide you PG diploma of one year and you can complete that in your one year or uh, whatever you are you want specialization in so that is one good option so these two are the common things that everyone knows about job or continuing education so there are other three so coming to the third one that is entrepreneurship so if you are someone who always strive to do something new so you are you don't like traditional way of doing things you don't like working under someone or you have some idea so you want to change that you want to create some innovation in that so then you you are then you possess some entrepreneurship mind mindset so then you can opt for that but it is a risky zone so only few people go for entrepreneurship after i mean straight away after their graduation but yes nowadays uh, because of uh, the reforms that are laid by government and also some ngos so most of the people are opting for startups so with, with they're coming up with ideas people are coming up with ideas on their engineering itself and they, they straight away starting their own firms own startups after that that is one good idea because there you will work with commitment you will work with perseverance because that is your your startup and for that you need a lot of dedication lot of commitment towards 
work towards achieving your goal and remember startup is not something that is easy as i said so you need lot of commitment for that so you need to plan or uh, plan before 2 years itself so if you are already in graduation and you have some idea so that you go and do some research on that whether it is possible or not if that is possible try to find out an investment plan and everything you need you need to document that and yes you need lot of commitment for that that is not that much easy as i said so this is one source of uh, i mean one source of opportunity that um, you can directly start away after your graduation but remember it is not that much easy you need lot of commitment for that and your idea should be valid and your market i mean the market that you are going to target should be huge otherwise it won't be easy to start but even though there are various people uh, who fail in i mean uh, growing their startups but ultimately they land up in a good position after that because that even that failure can help you to learn many things so this is one thing and the fourth way the fourth opportunity that you can choose is freelancing again freelancing is not something that is very much easy so but it is applicable for few set of people so if you are extremely good at a particular skill so instead of going for a job and do some routine work you can utilize your skill set to earn money i mean it was like you sit in your home and you just spend time on your skill and you do work for others so for that you need lot of dedication again and you need lot of networking for that so if you want to become a freelancer it is not that much easy you need lot of networking and you are someone uh, who is good at branding yourself so if you are good at particular skills for suppose take an example if you are good at graphic designing so you design everything so you design logos you design some th- thumbnails you design everything but if that is not known to everyone then you you can succeed in freelancing but if you are someone who are good in exposing yourself exposing your work all around then you will ultimately get deals and there are various sites like fever and freelancer where you can register and you can showcase your works and you can take up others projects and complete them in time and get get paid so this is one best source because you you, you can be self reliant on your skill but remember it is not that much easy it was it's not that much easy because it will don't be it will be possible only you are good in a particular skill not only good but you should be extremely good so that is the case here and and the fifth one i'm going to talk about is uh, it looks so silly but yes taking a one year gap after your graduation yes so many of the people have lot of dreams and lot of goals and they possess some good skill set but they are still in lack of lack of confidence and they're confused about what to go after graduation so many people uh, will settle for a job or they go for masters only because of uh, their confusion because they are confused about what to do so that they can settle for that less so but taking a one year gap one year gap right after graduation is a very much helpful thing because you will get some time to realize what you are good at so if you are good at one particular skill you can use that one year to become advanced into that into that skill so it helps you a lot also it gives you some clarity on how to go and it was like if you don't have any skill set so if you if you feel your lack of skills you can use that one year to improve yourself and then try for a job or something this this one year gap that you take after graduation will help you a lot really but most of the people will will go for society and they they simply settle in a job or something but yes if you are still in confusion if you don't know what to do taking a gap taking a one year gap is not such a big deal you can take that you can utilize that to build your skill set and you can improve where you are lack it so this is one thing and these are all the five different opportunities that any graduate have after the graduation but choosing the right one is completely dependent on you so don't go on with some other suggestions or something like if if one person is doing great in i mean software job there will be no rule that uh, you will be doing good at that job so it completely depends on you so the skill that you are good at uh will not be i mean the same person that you said they are good at one particular skill may not be good at your skill so don't compare with someone in choosing your career so because that is your career and that is your choice so make sure you select the right right way of uh, choosing your career 
and yes these are all the five opportunities that every graduate has after their graduation so choose your best opportunity and and yes uh, if you are a new i mean new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please like this video and share this to your network so that people will get benefit and also support me by clicking that subscribe button thank you thank you for watching